Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial video. This is the December 2021 video and will be the last tutorial video of the year. The December box is a unique type of kit for Craft Kitsune. I created a value-based kit with lots of different types of supplies. And the supplies were selected based on a survey sent out a few months ago to current subscribers. The survey had hundreds of submissions. And here are a couple breakdowns based on the results just in case you're interested. And so now let's see all the items that were included in the kit. First we have the flyer and the illustrations are done as usual by my sibling. Next we have some two-part resin. Next we have a couple different pigments. This is a transparent pigment in sapphire. Next we have a green glow-in-the-dark pigment. Next we have a couple silicon measuring cups. These are perfect for making small batches of resin as they only go up to 30 milliliters. But of course they are reusable and I find them really useful for working on small projects. Then for the silicon molds, first we have a couple bottle shape molds. So there is a cylinder as well as a sphere. And then to go along with those molds, we have this set of two molds here. They are to make bases so that the bottle molds, you can turn them into snow globes. Then we have a couple of really cute and small miniature penguins, so two different styles. Next we have these bead caps and they work as glue on bales for the globes. Then we have some miniature people inclusions. There are 20 each in two different scales. Then we have this powder glitter and it is very fine glitter and it looks like snow or sugar. Next we have this chameleon powder. And then finally we have a set of six holographic powders. And with that, let's jump into the tutorial part of this video. So the December kit is more of a value-based box filled with lots of different craft supplies that you can use for any number of projects. So unlike most Craft Kitsune boxes, there isn't really one suggested project. However, I'm going to show you how I use the supplies to make some miniature globes. So here are examples of the bases from the two globe base molds. I like to use the two larger sizes as the actual bases for the bottle molds. And then I like to use the smaller ones as little corks or stoppers in the molds. So you'll see that in this video a bit later. So starting out, I'm going to be using some fast cast, which is a two part medium with a really short open time or working time. And then it sets within about 10 to 20 minutes and it sets completely opaque white. You can also use tinted white resin for this, but I wanted to have it cure relatively quickly because I'm going to be working in two layers. And so I poured a thin layer into each of the bottle molds about a third of the way up the mold. And then the idea is that this layer will act as a snow base. And then I also use the fast cast for the larger of the two base molds. And then while I wait for that to cure or harden, I'm going to be painting the miniature penguins. So I'm using my Posca paint marker and black to color most of the penguin and then I go in with a needle tool later to add some of the details. And then once the fast cast layer is completely hardened, I'm going in and adding some of the chameleon powder to the inside of each of the bottle molds. Once the paint is dry on the penguin, I'm going to add one inside the bottle mold. So I'm adhering it to the snow layer using super glue, but you can also use UV resin. And then I'm placing it with tweezers, just making sure it's standing upright and in the spot that I want it to be. So then next, I've mixed up some two-part resin. Then I'm going in with my transparent pigment in sapphire. And because I want the resin to still be relatively clear and not too pigmented or dark, I add a little dot to my silicone mat and then I add it to the resin slowly using my mixing tool. And then I also add some of the sugar glitter as well as some holographic powder. And then once I mix that all in, it's ready to pour inside of the two bottle molds. 
So I'm going to pour the resin, but stopping a little bit short of the top. So I'm going to pour up into the neck of each of the molds. So then for the cylinder mold, I'm going to be using one of the globe bases. This is the larger size, but on the smaller set of globe bases and push it down like so. And then I actually removed it because I realized I should have done this next step first. So here I have just a small amount of resin that I've put into a small mold of mine and then I'm adding in the glow pigment. And then next I'm going to be working relatively in the dark. I'm using a UV torch so that it'll activate the glow pigment really fast and I can see how glowy it is and decide if I want to add more pigment or not. Of course don't do this if you're using UV resin or else the UV light will cure it. I waited for the resin inside the bottle molds to set for about half an hour and then now I'm adding drips of this resin that has the glow pigment in it. So I also added some more drops as I waited a bit and then I used a needle tool to kind of swirl it around a bit and push it down. I also took off the stopper as I mentioned earlier for the cylinder mold and then I added some drops of the glow pigment resin to it as well. And then I added the stopper piece back to the top of the cylinder mold and then it was time to turn on the lights and wait for this to cure for about one day. Alright so now it's the next day and it's time to unmold each of the pieces. So for this one, I found a cork stopper that actually fits pretty well on top of it. So I'm just super gluing it on. And then now I'm adding a way to hang each of them. So for this one, I'm adding one of the bead caps or the bales using super glue. And then for the cork, I'm adding a screw pin and I've also added some super glue to it. And that's all for those two pieces. I also wanted to quickly show you how I make a different style of globe. So for this one, I'm using the largest of the globe bases and then I'm adding some of the miniature people using super glue. I decorate the base using a strand of rhinestones. Next, I'm using this hollow globe and I got this off of Amazon and I'll put information on the sizes and where you can buy hollow globes such as this one in the description. And then I'm adding baby oil almost to the top of the globe and then I also add in some glitters. And then to attach the base, you'll want to make sure that the opening is completely dry. And then I'm going in with UV resin and I'm adding a line around the opening of the globe. And then setting the globe base on top and curing it under UV light. You'll also want to account for how much you put on the base so that you don't add too much baby oil into the spear itself to where it overflows. And then after this step, you can also decorate the globe itself if you want to add any embellishments to the outside. But then after that, it's completely done and my globes are all finished now. So let's take a look at some finished pieces.
All right, so that's it for the tutorial video. I hope everyone's having a nice winter so far if you're watching close to this posting, and I will talk to you in the next year. Bye.